Hi there, I'm Tom Poland and this is the Turbo Business Report where we give you one breakthrough business idea in less than five minutes. Today my guest is Richard Petrie of uh, www.speedmarketing.co.nz. He's a former international sports star, uh, head coach as in the grey matter, uh, former head coach to the likes of the Police ho uh, Hostage Negotiators Unit. Sounds interesting. Armed Defenders Squad, scary stuff. They're kind of like a SWAT squad. squad. Uh, Vodafone Warriors, a national NRL, national rugby league team uh, in, down under if you're from the US or the UK. And uh, founder and commander, he calls himself, of the Speed Marketing Academy. Richard, welcome, sir. Hey, thanks. Nice to be here, Tom. Okay. Well, the rules are simple. Uh, we've got uh, five minutes to deliver a one business breakthrough idea. And whether you finish on time or not, when that buzzer goes off that I'm just starting, we stop. So your time starts now, sir. Now, the subject is the persuasion equation. First off, I want to ask you, is there some sort of hidden secret? Is there something that most people don't know about persuasion that would help them in terms of influencing? Yep, I think soon we've only got five minutes. We'll give you the very short version. But I think the secret to persuasion is understanding that people, by and large, make the decisions on emotions. And we'll justify with logic, but we'll make our decisions largely based on emotions a lot of the time, a lot more time than we give ourselves um, hang credit. On, hang on, are we talking about men or women here? We're talking both, actually. Men disguise it better, women a bit more blatant about it. Um, you know, I had a woman the other day who said, I'm, I'm going out window shopping for red boots. And um, I said, window shopping? Are you going to buy some? She said, no, I'm just window shopping. I don't need them. And um, she comes back an hour later with a great big long brown bag, and you know, we all knew exactly what was in it. <laughs> And I said, Lucy, you know, what have you got there? She said, I've got these gorgeous red boots. And I said, I thought you were just window shopping. You know, you, did, you said you didn't need them. She said, I didn't need them, but I wanted them. And there's a difference. Yeah, a big That's difference. I, I sometimes get asked by my wife, do you really need to eat that? And I said, I said it's nothing to do with need. Or are you still hungry? No, it's nothing to do with hunger. So how's that, how's that related back to the unconscious or the emotions making a decision? So yep. she, she went out and rationally said, no boots, just looking, but came back with the boots. What happened? Yep. This happens all the time, you know, if, if, if we all make our New Year's resolutions and um, things like that uh, based on, you know, logically I need to lose some weight, but emotionally the look of that pavlova is a little overpowering. So what happens is emotions overpower us a lot of the time. So I, I think the key to persuasion is understanding that um, you've got, got to understand what really drives decision making and what really drives people. And when you understand that it's logic is useful to a degree, but emotion is the secret source, and you've got to find the emotional drivers from people. Okay. So, I mean, look, to, to be honest, that's not really much of a secret because everyone knows it, but not everyone remembers it. So I guess what you're saying is, for goodness <laughs> sakes, remember it. And the next thing is, you're hopefully about to tell us how do you actually communicate at that emotional subconscious level without people going, I know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, well, they, they, they don't know what you're doing. No, no, no. I will, I will, my, I will tell you my how to... wife always knows what I'm doing. Yeah, well, okay. that's Let's right. Let's bring it back to a business context because that's too clever so, for us. Okay. So does mine. My, my wife always says, you don't need to sell to me, Richard. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Th that's different. It doesn't work with your own wife. You're, you're doing that thing again, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So business context, two minutes, 20, 18 seconds left. Okay. How do you do that? Uh, basically, you've got to you've got to say uh, what is it you're after. What, are you, what is it you're trying to achieve, Tom? Maybe I can ask you. Give me an example of something that you've been thinking about doing, but for some reason haven't followed through on properly. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, you know, I haven't. I, I want to do surf competitions next summer, which is down under. we five months away, and I haven't started training for it. And I've meant to start training for it like two weeks ago. Okay. So the outcome is I want to get myself training for surf competitions. Is that right? Yeah, I want to be fit enough to start the season with a splash. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, no pun intended. So, so what, what's the reasons you're considering, you know, doing this training and, and getting back into this? I like I like competition, and I like to feel fit and lean and in good shape. Why is that important to you? Self-esteem. Self-esteem. Okay. Now, very quickly, within two questions, we've we've actually pulled out what's the driver behind you wanting to do this. Yeah, okay. Nice. Myself. The surf competition is just a vehicle. What you're really after is you want to feel better about yourself. You want to look good, probably. You're a good-looking guy already. I like your, you know, I like your hair and What's and everything like that. About my hair? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I've I've got the same one. It's it's a, <laughs> mine's the same only a bit pinker. One minute left. Okay, one minute left. Well, basically, we came down. We found your driver pretty quickly, and it was that basically you want to feel better about yourself and your self-esteem, and that's the key driver. And that's all I'm really interested in because. 
you know, they say secret to marketing or selling is find out what people want and give it to them. Now, obviously, one of your drivers is to feel good about yourself and that self-esteem. That's more important to me than knowing that you want to do the surf competition. Well, we've got 30, 36 seconds left. First of all, kudos. You put yourself on the line. That was not rehearsed. That was completely impromptu. And you got there, I think, in about three questions. Yeah. How did you do that? I mean, people can replay the video, but you just asked, well, why is that important to you? Is that the technique? The, the key is, it's what do you want? They might give you a few, so you've got to say, of those, which is most important? So what do you want? Which is most important? Then you drill down on that one, because that's the okay. secret. That's where the hot button's hiding. 12 seconds. Where do they get more information? Uh, they're probably best, if they want to email me direct, Quick. Richard at, Richard at speedmarketing.co.nz. Okay, and our buzzer is going. Thanks, Richard.